Hey, Mr. Rice is here with the second video in our lesson 1-1 for BC Calculus. This is limits. So, <clears throat> um, you know, really informally, just what a limit is, it's the Y value of a, um, the limit is a Y value. So it's something very, very important to remember. We're talking about a Y value as X gets closer and closer and closer to some value. So this is the, um, this is the, oh, Let's see if my pen will work here. This is the format that you're going to want to use here. The limit as x approaches a number c of a function is equal to l. All right, this is our value, our y value. It means as x approaches a value c, f of x is going to approach that value l. It doesn't have to actually equal that value l. It just has to approach that value l. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at a graph that I have here, and we'll take a look at some of these limits. Well, so we'll take a look at this, and um, we've got this graph here, function f of x, y equals f of x. The limit as x approaches negative 4 of f of x. So we've got, we're looking at our x value of negative 4. Here's our x value of negative 4. Now we're going to approach negative 4. So as our graph approaches negative 4, as we go negative, get closer and closer to the x value of negative 4, what does the y value get closer and closer to? Well, it looks like the y value gets closer and closer to 1. The limit as x approaches negative 1. So as x approaches negative 1, so here's negative 1. The limit as my graph, if I follow my graph, the y value, if I follow my graph, the y value approaches 4. Even though I have a dot here, my y value approaches 4. So remember that a limit is what we are approaching. Limit as x approaches 2, right here, my graph, if I follow my graph along, I'm getting closer and closer to 1. The limit as x approaches 3, so here's 3, we've got a vertical asymptote here. So as I approach 3, as my x values get closer and closer to 3, my y values get smaller and smaller out to negative infinity. So I can either write this as negative infinity, or I could say the limit does not exist, right? D N E. It does not exist because there's no limit, right? There's no limit. It doesn't exist. Negative 5. As I approach negative 5, here's negative 5. The X gets closer to negative 5. The Y value gets closer to 2. Now, how does that differ from the actual function values at those X values? So the actual function value, the actual value of F of negative 4 f of negative 4, the y value is 1. So this is actually the same. The value at negative 1 is a point here. So my y value at negative 1 is going to be 1. So these actually are different. The limit and the function value are different. At 2, there is no function value. We've got a little hole in the graph here. So there is no function value. There is no function value. So undefined, actually we should write undefined. Now it does not exist. Does not exist is okay, but I actually like to write it as undefined better. So let's write undefined. Because it's not a defined value of x and, or of y. Um, we've got the same thing here, undefined, right? Because there's a vertical asymptote. So it doesn't hit any y value. Now at 5, we've got 2. These are actually the same thing, right? Okay, so what do we got when we call these things one-sided limits? One-sided limits means that notice here when I was approaching f of negative, if when I was approaching the x value negative four, I was showing you that I was coming this way, right? I was getting closer and closer that way. Okay, I was following this graph and getting closer and closer that way, and this one I was following the graph and getting closer and closer this way. I gotta come from both directions to that to that um, point that I'm approaching. This direction, I'm coming from the left. This direction, I'm coming from the right. So if I am approaching the value from the right, this is a one-sided limit approaching from the right. And normally when we see when we um, see a little plus symbol here, right above that, that's a one-sided limit coming from the right. So as I approach from the right, um, as X approaches 5, so let's go over here to this one. Okay, as I approach from the right, so here's the right. As I approach my X value of 5 from the right, that means on this side of the graph, what value of Y am I approaching? 
I'm approaching a value of 2. So from the right, I'm approaching a value of 2. From the left, as I follow from the left, I'm approaching a value of negative 1. So that is a one-sided limit. So there you go, guys. This is an introduction to limits.